we will consider some uh, trips model and here i'm just going for a frame model first so frame of a length and then width i am just going to take as so 30 meter and height i am just going to take as so 7 meter so along height i am just going to take a two me two base and then the in this direction one is enough the two 12 meter is not needed and we can just go for uh, 6 meter one and then uh, number of base along with i am just going to put a 10 okay this is what our uh, base for the truss model so merge model with the prototype okay so after i'm just going to just delete these things okay this is what uh, now that we have the columns now i'm just going for geometry and structure wizard so here i'm just going for hover roof here hover roof like i'm just going for length 12 height i'm just going for a 3 meter and the width it is like a 30 meter we have given right and then number of base that we no need to change number of base along with we can go for 10 as we apply 10 there and i'm just going to apply now i'm just going to close it once you close it it is asking yes you can just go for reference point reference point you can just take this reference and i'm just going for okay and i am putting here and it is asking for the point the point it is choosing i am clicking okay duplicate node signal click okay but why it came like this uh then might be six uh, we we give six only na uh, here that we need to change so geometry run structure wizard geometry run structure wizard over roof and then 6 meter and then the 3 meter this is like a 30 meter and here then 3379 no so okay no problem i'm just going to close it yes reference point you should choose the reference point at this one whatever it is then you can just go for place in there okay totally we have got like this so this is what our structure now now i'm just going for a support assign to selected node now i'm just going for actually i feel this is like a huge if you want you can able to reduce the sizes for column also if you want but anyway okay we will try as it is now i'm just going for the two like a thin me like um, this is like uh, how much from this to this node like 3.5 meter only na 7 meters to like 20 feet eh? so high rise building like that this is like a 3 meter node to node distance 3 meter what we can do means like you can just select everything and i'm just going for a geometry move i'm just going for a joint move i'm just going to put a uh, in y direction i'm just going to put Uh, minus y na minus point five. So I'm just going for retain connection. Okay. Now I'm just going for a node. So three meter. Now we have that made that two. Control is that why control y. Remove. 
and uh, totally like uh, we can just go for moving to geometry move joint minus 0.5 as well Oy. now it is like uh, oh it is having split piece Okay, anyway, no need to disturb now. Like uh, this might be having a 3.5 and then 6.5 and then the totally 9.5. Uh, otherwise, we can just select the nodes over here. And then that we can able to select for moving, move, joint. And we are going in the positive, retain connections. Now we have shipped it like this. Now we have that. Six, 18 feet. Okay. Now we are just going for property. So define. Uh, now we can just go for defining the columns and uh, rectangle. Rectangle of point uh, two three point two three. And then the section database, we can just go for the trust, you know, like a section. So I'm just going to take a uh, in American. We are just going for a angle section. Angle section of for this one, I'm just going to take. And this, uh, I'm just going to make everything. Assign to selected beams. And then, so second one, we need to select and then assign to selected beam. Now we can able to see our 3D rendering. Okay. Now I'm just going for loads and analysis. See general, I'm just going for loads and definition. Here we can go for like uh, wind definitions. So wind definition, I'm just going to add so after adding, you can select it and you can go for again add. Now we can go for custom or we can just go for any of these two methods. So if you're taking that, it will be considering uh, by default values where you can able to select the terrain or classification. Okay, otherwise I'm just going for custom. For example, as usual, we used to put 0.88 or 0.94 at the height of six meter and also six plus a three nine meter otherwise you can go for calculate as per asc i'm just going to add it now it is asking for exposure factors i'm putting one so this is like intensity you can able to add um, anyway we add it now so it will come like this there you will be having another option like as per asc so it will show you the values so it will calculate and it will show you the values and exposure i'm just going to assign to view now i'm just going for a load cases now you can just go for a dead load dl load live load and then the wind load So dead load as usual self right assign to view so live load so we can just go for nodal load here i'm just going for a, a minus 10 kilo newton i'm selecting uh, this node this node So this you can calculate this minus 10 or whatever it is depends on your uh, 
uh, site condition it will vary actually and depends on your design also <coughs> why is still latest like um Only this I am just going to have now, and then we will see wind load add. And here we have wind load. It won't come without wind definition as seismic load. I am just going for a regular only in x direction. I am just going for one factor. So here we can input the y range. So I am just going to consider only the truss portion. So from here to here. So which means like six to nine now. Six to nine. I am just going to add it. Now we have added. See, it is like showing from six to nine only here. Ah, you can just go for adding more. So twelve. So now we can able to see the wind is acting. So all over the truss. And I'm just going for wind. Add another one. Uh, wind load of x minus one. Otherwise, you can select the minus x lever, and I'm putting one factor, x, and then twelve. Uh, but it is like uh, going inside now. You can able to edit minus one. You can put minus one. That is like lever directly. So it is going from inside. Uh, you can go for selecting x itself minus one. Mm. Now we got it. Like one, only concentrating. Normally, the wind won't act in both direction. Only one direction. But I consider both, like this way and also that way. Now, I'm just going for a, a load. Uh, we will go for a load and like uh, combination. I'm just going for auto load combination as per a Indian codes or whatever it is. I'm just going for a general uh, steel plastic or general structure is enough, and it will automatically generate you the Like the load cases. Now I'm just going for analysis and print, and I'm just going to analyze it. So I'm just going for a view output file. So if any flow difference is present in the model, wind flow definition, that's fine. So applied load, reactions load. For load combinations also, so we have got. Okay, so here we can able to see that. See our result how it is, like for the wind load, for the third one now wind load. I'm just going for wind. See here. so that's fine actually this is what we have done so we are getting a results as it is like in x and y so Okay, now you got like uh, wind load also like wind based on wind definitions we can able to add our wind loads. So not like dead load and live loads for uh, seismic and wind loads we need to go for definitions first. Okay, that you should remember. And especially for seismic load you should go for seismic load definition first and we need to take. Uh, Uh, seismic load as our first load case, but for wind load no problem. Even after you done like a seismic load, you can just go for wind load also, and you can able to execute it. 
but only for seismic load we should go for a seismic load as our first load case 